Hey movers and shakers, how you guys doing today? I've got a great video for you. Many of you want to know what it takes, what are the requirements to get licensed and insured? Well, today we're going to be discussing that from a consultation that I did for some guy in New York. Now, while these processes and these systems apply specifically to this caller in New York, they apply universally throughout the United States and probably even Canada. So listen to what I got to say and how you guys can get licensed and insured properly for your state and what it takes to actually get licensed and insured, including the documents and forms that your insurance agent has to send to uh, the your state for you to be officially licensed and insured. Now, I do also have a book which tells you how to get licensed and insured, specifically who sells moving insurance. And I'm gonna leave a link to that in a pinned comment down in the comment section. All I ask you to do is go take a look at that. It's called Who Sells Moving Insurance? But other than that, guys, we're going to give you a great video, and I'm not going to spend any more of your time talking. So let's get into the video. Hey, movers and shakers, how you guys doing? I don't know if you know this or not, but did you know that you could actually join my Seven Figure Moving YouTube group or membership? Yes, if you go to my, my YouTube page, right here is a join button. By clicking that, you could actually sign up for the membership on YouTube. And there's various perks at various different levels. There's three different levels. The first level is just a few bucks. The second level, a little bit more. And the third, well, that's when you really get the, the membership bonuses and perks that we have available to you. But if you didn't know that, you can actually do that. And there's a lot of people that says, Jay, how can I support you? How can I help you? I get a lot of these comments. Well... If you guys go to the join button and click it, you can actually join my membership and you could be helping me uh, and contributing to the Seven Figure Moving Academy YouTube. So all you have to do, go to Seven Figure Hustler, look for Seven Figure Hustler on YouTube, go down to that page, click the join button, click one of the membership levels, and I'll be seeing you in the group. Okay. All right. So how can I help all you? Right. Well, the question, the question I need from you today is that um, I'm in process getting my authority. Good. So um, one of those things um, I received is that I was having issue getting my tariff, but that was uh, that was something I, I I was able to get it from somebody else. So that tariff is all done. But now one of my issues is that when they sent me the package from the New York State. So there's a shipping document, there's a lending. So on the paperwork, they have a bullet of what you should, what's selected, that's the paperwork you need to submit. So right now, one of the issue I'm having now is that the shipping document, that's the only thing that's holding me up. And uh, the other part is that uh, because in New York State, Progressive is the one who does cargo for me, but they don't do the filing, which is from H. So I would like to see if there's any way, if there's anybody you can refer me who can help me with that uh, cargo insurance, uh, is who can get me the file H, or if you can guide me with the, with the shipping document. What exactly is that document? I know yesterday I was able to speak to one of follow movers and said the shipping document is a lending paper. It's a lending paper, lending billing? No lady. Bill of Lending, yes, that's the name no, of it. Not landing, lady, L A D I N G, Bill of Lading. Oh, oh, Bill Lading, okay. Okay, and you can get that from uh, a company called Milburn uh, Printing. Yes, yes, they they sent me they sent me that paperwork. But my question for you is that that shipping document because uh, New York State sent it to me. The way they sent it to me, they sent it to me as a copy, like it was like a regular moving company. So right. all I have to do, I think, is that should I just fill that and then expect it, let them know, hey, I submitted to Melbourne and then Melbourne should give me an original with my company logo and stuff. Yeah, you can yeah, you just go to Melbourne and order your bill of ladies and you can submit that form to them. 
Um, you don't oh. have to use a Milburn printing, but Milburn printing has a bill of lading specifically for New York because New York has yes. special rules and legalities that you've got to follow. And Milburn printing yes. specifically has that bill of lading. Now, as far as the insurance company, if they're not, if they haven't provided form H, then they're mm -hmm. in negligence of their duties. Because four I and H can only be submitted by the insurance company, and it's electronic submission. Um, so it's a, it's not like they actually put a piece of paper in the mail and send it uh -huh. to your state. It's electronic filing. It's a legal electronic filing that your your uh, your your insurance company has to provide to the state. That is something that they legally are in, required to do. So this, mm -hmm. this tell me that Progressive isn't going to do that. Well, they're either not, you're not insured correctly, or you're they're not the ones who are handling that particular insurance. Well, they said they said they said um, to me because as not only that, I, I I follow one of your video who says you know reach out to movie association. Movie Association told me um, they provide me with some insurance company, but the insurance company does go several, they go to several companies. But what happened, there's a lot of company now, they not provide the form H. And then as I was on the line, tried to speak to somebody from Progressive with my agent, and then they were told, and they even sent a letter, they were told by the, by the uh, Progressive, they no longer do the e-filing, I mean the H filing, whatever, for 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 cargo insurance for New York State, they don't do that anymore. So I also submit that follow up because right now what it is is like I'm in a deadline because I mean even uh, when I start with that process, I started I think it was like in January mm -hmm. to try to work to get my paperwork, but they give you was like in a window of seven months. Mm -hmm. So after seven months, you're gonna get a letter, which is the letters I already received the letter. And that letter says after that time period, if they caught me doing business, you know, it will be illegal. But I, I kind of like, I think right now, my it's the person who's doing it uh, from New York State was pretty understanding, understand the concept of COVID. I mean, you can't really count it. Even it's the regular time where they give you the seven months of pay is seven seven months time period. But that seven months time period, we pretty much here in New York got a good two, three months right now since after COVID is you know things seem to go back to normal right right um i would find i would go up i would call back progressive up again and i would just go up uh -huh. the line because them saying that they don't do the h filing which is a legal filing that they have to do um mm -hmm. that it sounds like you just got somebody who doesn't know they're either trying not to do their job, like they're like just being lazy and don't want to do their job. Well, that's or, what that's what one or, of the company. Or or they don't know what they're talking about. So you need just okay. need to go up up the the flagpole until you find somebody that knows what they're doing and and think because not everybody that works for progressive knows you know what knows, they're doing. Yeah, they you know they just file papers and. When you ask them a question that they don't run into every single day, you know, everybody has that. They're like, oh, uh, you know what I mean? And then they might ask somebody that's just as clueless. So um, okay. I would just go up the flagpole until you got somebody that knows what they're talking about. Because that is a legal filing that they're supposed to and have to. Yeah, I, I'm already, yes, I, I, I'm like, I'm in a, I, I already paid my insurance for, I paid my cargo for. So everything has been paid full. So it's like I'm fully insured and everything else, my general liability, my work is done, everything. Everything has already been done by the by me. So it's well, that, another, those are the two things. Mm -hmm. right. And another thing I would do is I would record the call or calls. Um, and then I would take that and I would provide that to uh, the Movers Association in New York, New York's Movers Association. So that they could say, I, hey, I need help. This is what I'm running into. And they, this is what they keep telling me. Um, so that the Movers Association can actually help you get that pushed through. That's what they're there for. 
um, you know, and you, you should use them because they're the ones who know all the legalities. They know everything. They might know. Uh, like, hey, the company, the company, which is Mover Association, this guy was giving me such a hard time the other day just to do my um, my tariff. He was asking me numbers like uh, how much I should charge for bucks, uh, how much I should charge for containers, and like it was like he want he want ev for everything. I have to tell him what to put in in there. So that well, was that's, the that's what a tariff is. Charge. So. That, they're not giving you a hard time. That's what a tariff is. It's a it's a price okay. list of everything that you provide. Um, if mm -hmm. are you a member of the Seven Figure Moving Academy group? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Since you Did guys you started see the yes. tariff that I put in into the group. My tariff. Uh, I, yeah, I can go look at it, and then I will also send you uh, the one he did for me. So it's like, yeah, I will send you the one he did for me. But you don't um, need to send it to I'm me. gonna. Stay. If you look at my tariff, my tariff has mm -hmm. all my prices for boxes, has my prices for holidays and non-holidays and certain, yes. it has prices like the price differences for certain uh, counties versus other counties um, <laughs> and, and things like that. So, I mean, that's that's what a tariff is. It, it, it's, a, it's a document that goes, okay, good. What is your procedures about you know, damage claims. What is uh, what, how, what is the actual procedures, and who do you use, and what are your prices for boxes, and what's your prices for labor? Yes. Like, that's what a tariff is. So they're not giving you a hard time on that. They're trying to ask okay. you questions. So they're trying to do that so that you they can put in into your tariff uh, correctly. So yes. yes, they already found my tariff for the state too. So that's already been done. Good. So I mean they got the yeah. thing, but they they weren't being a jerk. They were trying to help you. Okay. You know okay. they were trying to you know, to make sure that your tariff was correct. Because I mean you okay. could you could pr provide a tariff that's just inaccurate and incomplete, and then you could be in trouble with the law. So you okay, know, okay, that's so, explain why. That, and I understand that being a brand new moving company, maybe you've never dealt with that before. Uh, exactly. Oh. I was expect I was expecting him to to actually say, "Okay, James, I'm doing the tariff. This is how much it's gonna be, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of it." But the idea is that uh, I was expecting the fact that this, that's what he does, so he might have a, a, a like a you know a simple like a, a a cheating sheet where okay, this is what usual company. This is how much you charge. Then then as you first started, this is how much that will be for you. So that's why that was my under impression, but right, it, it right. worked oh, out. I, I that. mean, I, I give him that. what he wants, so it's fine. Yeah, I get that. I get that. And that's why I provided my tariff in the thing. So you get an idea of what, what you have to have in your own tariffs, right? Yes, obviously, yes. my tariff is from a different state. So obviously, there's going to be yes. things in my tariff that you don't need. And there's going to be things that, that you need that I don't have in my tariff. But it gives you a good idea. That's right. That said, your moving association member and group is there to help you. Um, I can only give you so much advice about the tariffs okay. and about the movers association and so much advice about insurance. Mm -hmm. That, But okay. I'm not there in New York. I don't know New York's specific laws and procedures. I ah, do know that it's different. That. Right. So you got to use the terminals that know what they're talking about. Um, and okay. again, I would go up the flagpole with Progressive and, and say, hey, look, here, here's, here's the deal. You know, legally, you have to provide the, the form and it can only come from you guys. I can't do it for you. Um, you know. So, yes, I will, I will reach out to them today and then to double check that. So the question, the other question is that the, the, um, the bill of ending, that's the shipping document. The shipping documents they're talking about it expresses the bill of lading. That's it. Bill of lading, yeah. And that's just basically a okay. uh, bill of lading is just a fancy term that means a receipt. It's just the receipt okay. that you're gonna give to you know your customers, right? It does okay. have it does have your legalese on it or should have your legalese. It should have your ter some of your terms and conditions on it. I made up my okay. own. I made up my own 
uh, bill of lading because I wanted it to okay. say certain things. You don't have to use the one from Milburn, but I would because the legalese is written that, that they have on it is specifically geared uh -huh. to New York. But you could take that legalese, okay. you can take that off and, you know, and then have it printed for your own on your own document. So like okay. on my document, I had my front page was specifically how I want it laid out and how I want it to look. The back, I basically okay. copied from Milburn Printing from their stuff. And then I just had an attorney look through it and make sure that it contained a couple different sentences and paragraphs that I wanted it to contain. Again, okay. so you can, as long as it, it your, your bill of lading follows the New York statutes and laws, it does not have I, to I'm look, yeah, it does not have to okay. look like Milburn Printing. I would just use okay. it because it's already done and why, why uh -huh. it's just a matter of ordering 100, 200, 300 of these of them for yes. you know, 50 plus each or something, you know? And okay. if you've got a I logo will. and, you know, you can have your logo printed right on them. Yes, I already, yes, I already got all that. So that was, uh, like I think this morning when I opened the folder they give me, it's got the, the bill of lading right here on the, on the documentation, but I wasn't sure exactly if it, that was the terminology they use for shipping documents. So yep. I was like, okay, can I just fill that, you know, with a pen and then send that to them, you know, tell them, hey, I'm in the process to get it, but I understand what the shipping document means. And is that, because that's one of the reasons they, they, they stick it into the folder they gave me. Right, yeah, the shipping document, it sounds like the bill of lady, which is, uh, you know, okay. get one from, just put your, have your, 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 your address my, and stuff. My, yes, yes. And, and my DOT uh, number, yes. I would also, I would also provide them a document. Now, you could get this again from Milburn Penny, but the, the document's pretty, uh, pretty boilerplate. I would get, uh, I would take a look at our documents on our own thing and look at the terms and conditions document and then have a document made up like that as well so that you could provide that also to things say this is a supplement um supplement to our bill that the customers have to file or have to sign okay um i mean if you if, if you if there's a way if you can provide me some link that will i like, can get that that would be great it's in, or it's in, just, like, it's in the file section name. it's in the file okay. section my friend. just go to the file section of the group and you can find all the documents that you need. Okay. I mean, literally, all right. there, there's there's literally tens of thousands of do dollars of materials and documents in that section that I have provided mm -hmm. and others have provided to group members. Yes, yes, I'm aware. I did, I did see a lot of them. I, I did familiarity to that document section. Yeah, and that's. I mean, that's, 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 that's where. That's where. Yeah, that's where I get my contracts from. Like, I mean, uh, as you guys were talking, before I even planning on doing anything, I was already had my contracts from one of your documents. So it's uh, it's been helping a lot going over and then have it looked by another lawyer over here and then set it up and like make it set up for New York State. So, uh, yeah. Good, good, yeah. Uh, I, you know, and uh, I, I would just use those as templates. I, obviously, they're not a one size fits all, but they're great templates that you could use. Cause uh yeah. It sounds like you're you sounds like you're on your way to becoming uh licensed and insured, which I gotta applaud you for, because not very many people start off with that. They want to start off no. with rogue moves, but I applaud the, you for what in there. What this part? I appreciate it, but the issue is that I, I make so much so much investment right now. And I just, I just get a, I got a cargo van because I do a lot of moves to New York City. So my cargo van itself is cost me seventy thousand dollars. So seventy thousand dollars on a on a truck, it's brand new truck, and plus I have the insurance money. I have a lot of stuff which is I spent. So I wanna go ahead and I, I wanna go ahead and get a regular twenty six foot truck, but I want, I don't wanna do it like just just to start it. I want to be able to put my logo on it 
have everything flashy. I got my uniform. Every All my guys already got a uniform. So I don't want to be like anybody else. That's the reason why I want to go ahead and get this. Like, we've been doing a lot of moving on West Point. So I want to make sure we got we cleared out. So I'm not going to be able to or stop, not letting anything stop me. So I, if I'm going in, I'm going all the way in. Good, good. No, it sounds like I would have, I don't know if you're doing jobs yet, but I would definitely start doing jobs because you still have provisional, you, it's, you every state has, a, during that time period that they give you, you're given provisional uh, licensing to go and do jobs. Yes. So I would I would be doing jobs and making as much money as I possibly could, but uh, yeah. Um, as far as the H form, I mean, there's really not much I could do for you other than to give you the advice of okay. Um, but we out to prevention. Yeah, because I mean that that's something that has to come from the the insurance company. It has to. Okay. And I, I okay. have no, I have no one's going to be able to help you with that other than. Uh, an attorney or something that's like true. that, that yeah. you know um that's why i, I there's no one that's gonna can go okay here here's an h form and send yeah, the form H, yes yes it's not it's not happening because they, they they want they want that from the new york state so they want that that h filing so right. it's not it's the same it was the same thing for the cargo insurance uh for the uh walkers come they want the same thing there's uh another insurance they have me get it's like uh, I think disability insurance. All of those things. It's not just get the people. They want file. They want to turn your form. So if you're not getting those form, that's when your stuff is not legal. So those are the things they want me to get. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to make some phone calls and also take that same form they give me from uh, uh, from the lading and bill of lading and then have it submit because I think I already got the form numbers and everything else and that template they give me and then just request request one with the Melbourne with my logo on it and my address my information on it put it in there and then get a 200 page just 250 whatever they give me and then right. send that over to them right 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 okay good yeah. all right so you got I any other questions or what do you know sir i think that's that's everything thank you very much and i know like you know you there for me you you've been helping me a lot it doesn't matter how it is as long as i'm staying in that group it helps so it wasn't the issue wasn't really the money it's like the money is you got to invest to get to gain so if not there's nothing you're gonna gain so they right. expect everything's gonna be done for free so i i completely understand that part and that's why we're going you know i have to let World mover to be out your movers so exactly all right my friend uh, i'm wishing you best thank of you luck and uh we'll let you get to it and uh if you need me again you know how to reach me and uh yes sir to make an appointment yes sir, and, uh, we'll yes, sir. I'll, hopefully i'll hear great things from you in the group all right thank you very much appreciate it bye-bye